Hey guys, it's me, Made Up Jen, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another video. And today's a special one. If you've ever been here before, you already know what it means when I wear this shirt. We're doing a hair dye video, guys. It's been a while. I haven't posted a hair dye video with you guys in a while, and it's not for lack of trying. I did record one using the exact same hair dyes I'm going to use today, but I had just bought my camera, and... I didn't quite know the settings. I thought I picked the standard and on the viewfinder I looked so pale and I like my gut feeling was telling me that it just was not right. And yeah, you couldn't even get the hair color right. It literally looked just like one solid color. There was no brightness, like no warmth in the video. So it went to crap. So now I'm recording another video again. Well, now that it's time to dye my hair um if you guys have been here before you already know i've been actually with the same ish hair color most of the year um i've been going between back and forth and then i mixed them and then i mixed some others and then here we are again um so there is some slight warmth in my hair but it's like a lightish i don't know how to explain my color to be honest with you guys um, some days it looks really warm some days it looks like it has highlights in there and um, everyone always compliments my hair color when I do it they always ask me what hair dye I'm using and I'm like oh I actually mix two and they're like ah that makes sense because usually um, certain colors you don't get from box dyes like that they sell at drugstores but this is from Amazon. If you've been here, like I said before, you know I've been using this same brand mostly at this point. I think we're going towards two years. If you don't know, I do tend to gravitate towards cruelty-free items. I've been a bit like... <sighs> I've been a little bit off the rails with that when it comes to makeup. But when it comes to hair dyes, we're still here. So I'm actually going to use both of these. These are the Nature Tint Gel hair permanent hair dyes and these are the two colors that i'm actually going to mix i'm gonna mix 7n and 6ga so if you guys are ever wondering what the colors are for on there it is g for golden a for ash and then n for neutral i've had some people tell me that they can't actually find this in their country and i wish you could find it because anything cruelty free plant-based whatnot is always going to be an a plus for me so i actually just ordered these boxes not that long ago they've been there i actually have another hair dye box also that's not this color it's a darker color after i'm done using these two boxes i'm actually going to go into a darker shade and yes i will be recording it for you guys and if at any point you hear the little noise it is my fan it's a little hot it's not as hot as last weekend literally guys last weekend i went to a concert i went to the i love r&b festival and it was a hundred degrees and my bestie wanted to leave at like 12 and get there at one and one was like the highest peak and i literally like derailed our trip a little bit because i went to her house and guys tell me why i forgot my wristband and you cannot get inside without the wristband so i was like holy crap i forgot my wristband and yeah that's what ended up happening <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started so i usually open both of these boxes and i leave one of the developers and one of the conditioners in there and then all i do is i just take out the actual dye which is in this little slim bottle um these are white they're not really transparent but you can look at the shadow at like a little crack right here and that's how i can tell how much i'm pouring into my developer and i just use one developer again i'm just gonna do half of this 7n hazelnut blonde and this 6ga deep almond brown deep almond brown i don't know why i didn't mention the colors at the beginning i'm so sorry so when i start like right now i can't really tell which is gonna bug me but i'm gonna open this and it starts right here at this portion so we're gonna get to the halfway mark which is right here where it says rinser i believe that's the halfway mark um but i'm gonna mix both of these into the one developer bottle so i'm gonna start with a 7n first i'm 
It doesn't have to be perfect. Just oops, FYI. Right now I'm trying to figure out where the line is. That's like the downfall to a lot of these. Like I can't tell. Oh look, my finger is a guide. Yeah, we're still in the good. <laughs> we're still, we still got a lot to go. I hope. And now I can actually kind of tell it's right at the middle. So you just have to really be paying attention. It's okay if you go a little bit over one other than the other. Um, just hopefully is the one you want the most because obviously I have the deep almond brown. So this one is the darker tone and then the hazelnut blonde is the lighter one. So if I would want, I'm okay with going over maybe slightly on the darker one than I would be in the lighter one right now just because once I'm done using these hair dyes, I'm actually going to transition into darker. It's been a while since I've had darker hair. Um, a lot of people at work tell me that I should go to like a dark brown. And I just don't like the idea of darker hair on myself. And it's nothing against anybody who likes dark hair. Let's start with that part. It's the fact that um, I look really pale. Like right now, you guys see me, I have some warmth in my skin my my face a little bit i don't know if you guys can tell because on the camera like on the viewfinder i honestly feel like i look really white as long as the hair color is accurate i don't care about anything else when it comes to my face to be honest with you guys but um a lot of people i i just feel like darker hair just makes me look more pale and i don't like that i don't like it at all so as you guys can tell my hair um this time around I've been really like lazy with dyeing my hair. Um, usually I would dye it once a month and that's it. Um, it's been now on the a month and like two weeks, like a month and a half and then I'll dye it. Um, I've been really lagging with dyeing my hair and it's not because I don't want to do it. It's just because my schedule has been so weird where I haven't had the chance to really do it. So yeah. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, just FYI, I do have the gloves. They're, they do come in this instruction tablet, which all hair dyes are the same. They all have the gloves. Like if it's a, one of those um, home, at home uh, dye ones, they all come with the gloves and the instructions. And I actually use the instructions literally just to put on my lap. I actually don't read the instructions anymore. I've been dyeing my hair since I was 15 and <laughs> I they all are exactly the same like the instructions are all the same I think for this one though it does say 20 minutes I actually leave the hair dye now for 30 minutes the last time I dyed my hair I with you guys I waited 20 oh yeah like 20 minutes y no me agarró. like the hair dye just did not attach to the hair um, and since I am technically going slightly lighter to the roots um, I do leave it on for 30 minutes uh, in between so I'm gonna do the roots first and then I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna put the my um, my hair thing my hair thing um, my sh my cap my shower cap that's not even a shower cap but the cap for it to go in there for two for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and do the remainder of my hair leave that for another 30 minutes wash it off condition because it does come with your mask slash conditioner so you do you should 100 percent use this fyi this is what's going to seal the pores and is what's going to soothe the hair after it's been destroyed by hair dye it has a scent it's just not as chemical chemically as you would think so we're going to go ahead and get started so again this is a gel hair dye so it's not a cream or a liquid liquid per se compared to like the box drugstore ones like l'oreal um garnier uh revlon those are more cream to liquid and those are more a little bit more different than this hair dye that you see right here this is a gel and because it is a gel you really can't see as much as you would want compared to like the cream or liquid like i just put the amount you guys saw and i don't know if you guys can tell but it is slightly a little bit wet so that means i did get the product in there when i first started using this hair dye i would be like it doesn't look soaked so i would use more and i do have a line brush oh, 
I'm just going to split this back part. Um, from right here, I do tend to add a little bit more hair dye in the back just because I know I can't reach the back of my hair. So I'll start kind of implementing it inside right here on the back end. So we're just going to go ahead and play some music over while you guys watch me dye my hair. devil child is in here and yes I do call him the devil child <laughs> he is such a menace he is a menace everything I put down on the floor he's just like it's a toy so right now he just came in here and I'm a little bit scared because I left my makeup brushes on the bed <laughs> so if you guys see me turn around it's because of that So as you guys will notice, as I continue, um, a lot of the hair, like for this side, I haven't applied any hair dye and I know I already had hair dye down the center. So I don't apply as much on the side that already has dye under it. I apply much more hair dye on the drier side. Milo. I'm so scared for my brushes. They're in a little mermaid cup. And if you're wondering why I went to the other side and now I'm going to this side, it's just because I kind of lost myself on the other side, so it doesn't matter. And also, I want to try this out. I want to see what happens. Milo! Hey! First thing, he was he was ready to do the little... You guys have seen those videos where the cats, like, see something on the edge of the counter and they just go, click. That's where he was going. I tell him no, he thinks it's a damn joke. Like if I were a hairstylist, I would be able to do it the way I'm doing. <laughs> but because if I'm by myself, like I have to really pick and choose my battles with how I do my hair. I'm just trying out, like I said, just, just trying this out. My low! Every time guys, every time. And I wanted to close the door because usually that's what I do. I close the door and I just record in here. But it is so freaking hot in here. Like if I close the door, I will suffocate. And you guys are going to see me record this video with my face covered in sweat. I'll be like that kill. Peel? A meme where he's just sitting and then he's just drip, like raining sweat. As I've learned because you know this is YouTube and people love to tell me stuff <laughs> um, it's better for you to dye the hair with the hair with the hair dye um, not waiting around like the bottle like as soon as you mix it you should be using it within the first like five minutes because it's activated and pretty much it stops working after like 45 minutes so it's they say um, because when I first started dyeing my hair guys and I was recording for you I think I said that I I literally just let this bottle chill and get warm and then I would dye my hair um, which is it worked you know to each their own um, but I've been trying just doing it also when I first started I would also say do it on clean hair like you washed your hair the day before I washed my hair two days ago. Um, I worked out yesterday, so there was some sweat and dirt in my hair. And I found it that if your hair is slightly a little bit dirty, it actually um, holds much better when you're going into the lighter 
effect of your hair and again I'm just applying some to the back I don't know there's just a lot of things that I used to do when I first started dyeing my hair to where I'm at now just because I've had so many people be like oh well you know you're supposed to do this you're supposed to do that and then I'm kind of like okay well maybe I should look into it a little bit because I'm literally a DIY girl like when I started bleaching my hair, I didn't go get it professionally done. I did it myself here at home. I went to Sally's. I saw someone's video on YouTube on stuff to use and I just went to Sally's and I went to go buy the developer. I went to go buy the tub for the powder to bleach my hair and I just bleached my hair <laughs> myself. I'm pretty sure I burned my hair pretty bad but I still kept doing it because guys when I bleach my hair <gasps> I used to bleach my hair and then um, once I was done washing it off I would then go in with a dye a box dye after I'm surprised my hair did not fall off guys like serious sh I'm starting to get hot it's because I'm getting hotter because of my hair, like my actual hair, like me having my hair down makes me super hot. some dye like this to blend into the rest of the hair I do like to not go like just on the roots I literally go from root to like a little bit maybe like one fourth into the other hair that's already dyed just so I can have that nice blend so it doesn't look completely like because sometimes when you re-dye your hair and it could be the exact same color, but if you didn't leave it the exact same time on certain places, like when you dye it, you'll be able to tell like a weird break of color. Like, I, I think I can show you guys like a picture right now. But now I'm just gonna lift the bottom roots, the bottom of my hair, and I'm just gonna start dyeing the rest of the bottom. And then, um, I'm gonna get a little bit of hate for this one, but I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm just gonna, well, my comb. This is a comb, right? Yeah, a comb, and I'm just gonna brush on through. And I do like to do this, honestly, with the comb because if I miss a portion, um, this is spreading. It's technically like pulling excess dye. Um, it works more with like cream than it does with gel type of dyes. Um, but it's still spreading through. I have both children in here. Milo came back and now Mitzi is here. I always go back in with the baby hair. My baby hairs are so like inaccurate. They'll be soaked, but somehow they won't die. Like, ugh. not like die like death, but like they won't pick up the color all right and then i'm gonna flip my hair and just massage and then right here i'm gonna do the same thing i did to the top i'm just gonna milo and that took me half an hour <laughs> actually yeah it took me a little bit less than half an hour to do this whole process um, for people who ask, it takes me um, and almost two hours to do this whole process with my hair dye. Milo! But we are good to go. Uh, the other process, the, the way I just did it right now wasn't that bad. I feel like I did dye it somewhat faster than I did. But I then when I would do one full side and then come to the other side. But I also felt like because I forgot 
where I left off and the gel sometimes can be very deceiving because my roots are black. Um, I probably added a little bit more hair dye than I should have. So now I'm going to just go ahead and um, put the top on this. We don't want the heat to leave the bottle. And this is how much I still have left. I'm always down to like the one fourth. Always. When you do this right, you only need one fourth on the rest of your hair. Um, the, obviously depending on how long your hair is, right? Because my hair is about a little bit longer than shoulder length. Um, and one fourth is still perfectly fine for me. Even when before I cut it, um, I did use one fourth of the bottle. Um, obviously, the more you have left over, the better because you can really use it on the rest of your hair. But if you already have the hair color, like you don't need to worry so much about getting it all over the hair. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave this on for 30 minutes. And then I'll be right back to show you guys how I dyed the rest of my hair. It's been... 30 minutes guys 30 minutes so um it's falling asleep to be honest with you guys <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and continue and we're gonna finish this off so i can finally go shower um and if you guys see my back i have the door open and i just put the, the curtain thing over it but milo started messing with it so now you can kind of see that corner they're both literally knocked out on the on the bed now he was playing and then he started looking at Mitzi and Mitzi's like knocked out and he was just like you know what like I'm just gonna be a good boy and I'm just gonna lay in bed just like my sister and that's what he's doing thank the Lord Jesus he's trying to fight it though but let's go ahead and continue as you guys can see the roots everything we're still looking dark but it's fine that's how it's gonna look at the beginning <laughs> look at my hair looking like Medusa I'm just going to massage, get some circulation back in my scalp. My head hurts when I leave it up for too long. And 30 minutes with doing absolutely nothing was too long. I'm just combing through my hair just to make sure I don't have any um, um, noodles, any knots. And I'm splitting my hair down the middle. Oh, and this is hair <laughs> from all the hair I've already accumulated. And I'm literally just putting my hair all the way through to the back down the middle. And let's begin. Um, the last time I did this, I did it from the bottom to the top. You should always go top to bottom in this instance just because most of where you people can see your hair is on the top. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to do this with my finger and un pedazo. So I'm going to start splitting pieces of hair like you see this. I'm going to split this into... Again, like if I were styling my hair, this is usually how I would style my hair, obviously from the bottom to the top, um, not top to bottom like I'm doing right now, but this is for different reasons. And you should not put too much um, concentration on putting it on the roots because we already did our roots, so there's no need to add dye to the top portion we're worried mostly just about the ends of our hair I am combing my hair <laughs> but this is just because it breaks technically it breaks your hair but this is just how it works for me guys it really is just checking that I got all of the hair that's the reason why I like to brush it because I can see like if it's grabbing on I 
and I'm just doing it like this because it makes it easier for me to know where I'm going as I'm going down. so close to being done with the bottle i will grab bigger chunks here um usually the bottom portion of my hair i don't worry too much about it um with it being perfect because by the time i get here my hair dye is like doing this where it's trying to die on me and then i start freaking out <laughs> But we just need enough of it to spread because obviously I've, i already have this hair color on the bottom of my hair um if this is your first time dyeing the hair obviously you would have used less <laughs> a little bit less because obviously you would need another bottle at this point actually gonna open the bottle and I'm gonna stick my finger in here to grab lo que sobra lo que cae because at this point we're just trying to get out whatever is in here which is a little glob some dye in there I'm just like sticking my finger in there and like sticking it back into the hair lo que sobra it's because the bottom portion of my hair didn't all get soaked obviously the same way the top did it has dye it's just not as soaked alright now I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of my hair one last time Put it in a clip. Put the hair, the plastic cap back on. And we are good. All right guys, so this is the last and final step. Um, I'm actually gonna wait 30 more minutes for this to settle on my actual, the rest of my hair and a little bit more on the roots. And then I'm gonna shower, style my hair and you guys are gonna see me once I'm back. And I'm back. As you guys can see, I did my hair and this is the final look. What do you guys think? I always, 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 always think I want to change hair color. And then I come out and then I dye it with the same colors. And then I think to myself, why would I think about not doing this hair color? It is so pretty. It is so unique. And honestly, guys, I really, really like how it blends into my actual skin tone. Um, not every color goes with every complexion. I just feel like this one just gives me the right amount of life to my face. Like I said earlier, black colored like darker color hair just makes me look pale and i don't want to look pale when i don't want to put makeup on like why would i have to put makeup on to look alive you know i want to be able to just be like get out of bed 
this is the right color for me it goes with me and yeah if you guys are interested in how i did this i did film it i don't know if i'm going to post it <gasps> that i did cut my hair last week so my hair right now um i got face framing uh layers right here and the bottom layer is just you know but this is it what do you guys think i think the hair dye did i did a really good job even though i didn't manage to get all of the hair in the bottom i was still able to get a good blend where you can't really tell that i was missing some hair dye so yeah guys Whew. it's hot sorry having my hair down makes me hot <laughs> and i did just blow dry my hair so that made me hotter um but yeah let me know what you guys think down below will you be buying this hair dye have i made you change your mind about maybe giving it a try uh let me know down below and if you guys like this video please make sure to like it and if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye